I'm Mike, and this is Will. We are the Tabletop Donkeys. Hello. Bringing you issue 20 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. And uh, this week we got our last of the three sets of cargo containers, so we can finally complete our battlefield for the cargo deck on the Blade of Navaris. Heading into the issue, first we have some background information on more of the Ultramarine successor chapters. There are very many of them, so I can't fit them all in one issue. Some of the special honour badges that Space Marines can earn in on campaigns. Including things like uh, the Death Watch icon, the Crux Terminatus, that sort of thing. And background here on the Codex Astartes, the uh, sort of the art of war for Space Marines, written for the by um, Rabuti Gilliman. And here's the list of the original twenty original twenty Astartes legions. As you can see, which ones became traitors, which ones stayed loyalist, and now have successors. And yet another build guide for the Munitorum Armor Container, exactly the same as the other set. So. Should be pro at building them by now. And once again, another painting guide, painting this one red. And once we get through, we're going to finally paint our Prometheus drums as well. And uh, this is actually going to be the last issue we spend fighting on the Blade of Navaris. So we're going to give you a quick overview now of all the models uh, that we've collected up to this point. So you can have a nice look at that. It's actually quite a sizable amount of figures. Yeah, all the models point. at least, not including any of the paints or the dice and rangers and stuff. Yeah, a good foundation of a couple of armies, really, so... And then we'll head straight into our mission this week, Jewel of Champions. And this is our mission for this issue, Jewel of Champions. Once again, it's the only mission we have today, and you will probably notice that the deployment map is rather bare. That's because we get to deploy the terrain as we want today, following a procedure that we'll describe to you in a moment. But just quickly looking at the forces we've got, the Death Guard have Lord Felhees and the Tented Cohort from the last issue, and five Plague Marines this time. The Space Marines get the two characters, Lieutenant Cautius and the Librarian, the Hellblasters, and the Aggressors. And then we have different victory points for each side today as well. We've got Death Guard get two victory points for killing either of the two characters, and then one for the other two units. The Space Marines get three for killing Lord Felthius, two for the Tainted Cohort, and two for the Plague Marines. And then the first player to completely destroy an enemy unit also gets a bonus victory point, which is often known as First Blood. And then we've got five battle rounds to fight it out, basically. But then, as I said, we'll be deploying our own terrain, and the procedure for doing that is described here. You'll see us do it. So I'm not going to go through it in detail, but essentially we roll off and deploy. Each player gets to deploy pieces of terrain in turn. So we'll see that in action in just a second. And then we also get to roll to see who chooses their deployment zone. And the deployment zones we have for this mission are three inches on our side of the board. But we roll off and get to pick which one we want, depending on the layout of the terrain. And the person who picks their deployment zone gets to deploy a unit first, then we alternate, but the person who didn't pick deployment zones gets to go first. So bearing that in mind, we're going to set up the terrain now. So this is what each of us has to deploy in turn, so we roll off and then we each have... There are three sets of each of these. There's a container, three Promethean drums and three boxes. We've decided we can deploy, divide these up however we want when we deploy them. So we're going to roll off to see who gets to deploy one of these sets first. Rolling off. Three. three. Oh, I got four. So I get to place a set of terrain first. And as you can see, we've marked these dice here to demonstrate where we're allowed to deploy terrain. Each terrain item has to be more than three inches from the board edge. I'm going to place my first container, the red one, I'm going to put it there, like that. And then I get to deploy a set of crates, which I'm going to deploy on the end of it, like that. And then the Promethean drums, I'm going to put right in the middle of the battlefield, just there. And we've got Mike has put his container there, like that, and then we've got the boxes and barrels have been divided up, so there's some there and some here. And then I get to deploy the final set. And finally I've put the final container here on the board edge, I've put a set of Promethean drums near that deployment zone over there, and I've put some boxes down here. So we have a completely different looking battlefield to what we normally have. So rolling now to determine who gets to pick the deployment zone. I've rolled a six. Yeah. Well, you get to pick, but that I... means I get to go first. Yes, so I shall pick where I want to deploy. And I won the roll off, and I've decided to pick this side, which is the other end of the board as you just saw it, but we spun it round because I wanted to pick this end, and it was easier just to spin the board round. So, sorry if that's disorienting, but 
And my first deployment choice is the five plague marines down here in the middle. So for my first deployment, I'm going to put the two hell blasters over here. Hopefully move up behind that box. And they also have line of sight through to the plague marines. Yep. And it specifies that the Blight Lord Terminators and Lord Felthius have to deploy on board for this mission, so I've deployed the Terminators here. So for my second deployment, I'm just going to put the Librarian next to the Hellblasters. And finally, I've put Lord Felthius in the centre here. So that's my deployment done. Space Marines get to deploy their remaining two units. So to finish my deployment, I'll just put Lieutenant Cassius in the middle and the three aggressors on the left. And it was Death Guard who picked their deployment zone, so that means we're going on to Space Marines, turn one. So space marine movement phase is done already. Yeah, so just the hell blasters have moved up behind this box so they can see the plague marines. The librarians moved down a bit so you can see as well. And Chaosis and the aggressors have just moved up behind this red box so they're out of line of sight. And then it's on to the psychic phase. So the librarian will try to manifest smite, which will be on the plague marines because they're the only visible enemy unit. Needs a five plus, got it with a six. D3 damage. Oh, hopefully you roll that again. Yeah, three damage. Uh, I've ignored one of them, so two plague marines go down. So we've lost two bolt gunners, they've gone down like that. And then the librarian will just do... He'll do Mike Heroes himself. Oh, Perils of the Warp. So D3 mortal wounds, so he takes two. Okay. On to the shooting phase. Just go, uh, do the hell blasters first, so they're going to overcharge, firing at the plague marines. So they're within 15 inches, so they get to rapid fire. So we've got three sh uh, four shots hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. So three hits, wounding on threes, re-rolling ones, because we're within six inches of Calcius. Two wounds. I get two six plus saves because of cover, but if I make any of them, I actually take damage from exploding barrels, but I haven't. So that's four damage in total. So we've got disgusting resilient for the first shot. Nope, and the second. No. So another two plague marines go down. And there you see the two blight launchers have died as well. So for the first time ever we get to see how the morale phase works. Because the plague marines have lost four men. Which means they must take a leadership test. So we need to roll a d6 and add the number of casualties. And if it exceeds the champion's leadership, which is eight, then he runs away. So if I roll a five or a six on a d6. No, he's fine. He's sticking around. But that was the end of space marines turn one. So on to death guard turn one. First of all, the champion is going to move out from behind these explosive barrels and get behind this ammo crate. And the Tainted Cohort Terminators are going to move out of cover so they can get some shots. So that's, they've got their four inch move, so that gets them to about there. And finally, Lord Felthius is going to move up four inches and gets himself to about there. Shooting phase, the champion is the only Blade Marine left. He's going to rapid fire his plasma gun, supercharging at the Hellblasters. So he's got two shots, hitting on threes, three rolling ones, one hit, wounds on a two. Uh, no, oh, no, it doesn't. And then the Tainted Cohort are going to shoot their two combi bolters at the Hellblasters as well. The Plague Spew is not in range. So we've got eight shots, hitting on threes, wounding on fours, one. Oh dear. And you get a two plus armor save because they're in cover behind boxes. Yep. No, oh, he did a wound, it though. He did a wound. Well, so put it on him. So he takes a wound. So otherwise, no damage in the shooting phase. And then in the charge phase, Lord Felthius is going to declare a charge against the Hellblasters. Okay, they can't see him, so no watch. But it's going to be a long roll. Can he make it? Nine. Nine. Ooh, better measure it. Don't think it's going to make it. So, no, that's not enough for him to get in. But the Tainted Cohort will declare a charge against them as well. And they'll also declare the Librarian, actually. And it's going to be probably a 10 inch charge, but they get to overwatch. Okay, so the Hellblasters going to overwatch. I'm not going to overcharge in case they blow up. So hitting on sixes. Oh, should have overcharged. Two hits, wounding on threes. Uh, Rerolling ones because of Calcius. Yep. One wound. One wound. I get a four plus invulnerable save against this. I haven't made it, so I take a wound for my trouble. No, you got resilience. Yeah, disgustingly resilient. Nope. So I do take a wound for that. And put it on the Plague Spewer Man. And the Librarian gets to watch as well, because you're within 12 inches. No. My charge distance, need a 10. Oh, no. nearly another 9, not quite. Well, that's it for the end of Death Guard turn 1. On to Space Marines turn 2. So, movement after the Space Marine movement phase. Yeah, so we're going to be fairly aggressive here. The aggressors have moved around this box, so you can see the Sergeant's sort of just in the gap there, but he can see Felthius. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, this guy is hanging back a bit so the librarian can see the squad so he can put Veil of Time on them later, hopefully. Hopefully not blow himself up. Cassius has moved over the box to hopefully support the aggressors. And the Hellblasters and the librarian have stayed where they are so they can shoot at your tainted cohort. But we're on to the psychic phase now. So the librarian is going to try and manifest smite and it will be on the tainted cohort because they are the closest visible enemy unit. Not a double one. Or an 11. Oh, that's big. It's going to be d6 damage. Come on, six. So they get disgustingly resilient against that. And they've made two, so that's four wounds to the Tainted Cohort. No, two of the Terminators have gone down, leaving just the guy with the axe on one wound. And then the Librarian is going to try and put Veil of Time on the aggressors. He needs a six. Got it with an eight. So they can reroll charges, and they get to fight first in the fight phase. Oh. On to shooting? Yeah, on to shooting. Um, we'll do the Hell Blasters. They're both going to fire at the last Terminator, mm -hmm. and they're going to overcharge. So we've got four shots, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, three hits, wounding on threes, re-rolling ones, three wounds. Four plus invulnerable save against this. Oh, they, oh, all, yeah, lucky. they all bounced off. Wow, that's the first invulnerable yeah. save I've made for them. Right? Yeah. The Librarian will fire his Bolt Pistol at the last Terminator as well, hitting on a three, rolling ones. No, not with a two. Lord Falthius is the closest to Lieutenant Calcius, but he's not within grenade range, so instead he's going to fire his Bolt Pistol at the remaining Terminator, try and get rid of him. So hitting on a three, he hit, doesn't usually do that with his pistol. Wounding on fives, you're rolling ones, you're rolling ones, nope. And finally the Aggressor Sergeant can see Lord Falthius to shoot at him. Yep, yeah, and he's the closest target, so... 2d6 hits. 7. Wound you on 5s, re-rolling 1s. And re-rolling the 1. Nope, 3 wounds. 3 2-plus armor saves. Yep. Made all of them, so no injury from that. The aggressors are going to declare a charge against Lord Filthius and the Plague Marine, just in case. Plague Marine can't see, so Lord Filthius doesn't have a gun. No overwatch. First roll is a 6. six. And the champion gets to the sorry. Sergeant gets to there. This guy is going to go around the box and he'll end up round about there. Yep, staying within unit coherency. Just about. Just about. And the last man will go around with Sarge. And then Lieutenant Calcius will also declare a charge against Lord Felthius. He'll get in with a nine quite easily. So he can get to there to be within an inch. And that's all the charges I'm going to declare. So the aggressors will go first. Sarge will pile in like that. And this guy can slot in behind him. And this guy will pile in into the Plague Marine champion. These two are going to put their attacks on Felthius. This guy's going to attack the Plague Marine. So I'll do the guy on the Plague Marine first. Two attacks hitting on fours. Don't whiff. Phew. Didn't whiff. Wounding on a three, rolling ones. It's a wound. Uh, Six plus armor yeah. save. Nope. D3 damage. One. Disgusting evil. Nope. Phew. So the play champion goes down. And I get a victory point for first blood. You do because you destroyed the unit, the first unit. And also, is it two victory points for destroying And just two victory points for destroying yeah. the unit. And then we've got our attacks on Lord Felthius. Five attacks hitting on fours. Come on, I need a big roll here. Only two hits, wounding on threes, re-rolling ones, two wounds. Two four plus invulnerable saves, he's also wearing Cataphractic Terminator armor, he's made both of them, yeah. so they both bounce off. So this guy will come around a bit, he wasn't he? Sergeant isn't in base he's contact. He's not in base contact, so, so he'll, yeah, it's a bit easier. So he'll go around, try and trap you in a bit. Yep, so they've consolidated like so. And Lieutenant Calcius gets to go next. He has four attacks sitting on twos. Oh dear, two hits. Wounding on fives, you're rolling ones. No wounds. Lord Felthus gets to strike back, and he's going to attack. He's going to attack the aggressors, actually, because them I think they're more dangerous in melee. Four attacks hitting on twos. Three hits. Wounding on threes, because he's strength seven. Rerolling ones, though, because he has mm. a plague weapon. There we are. Three wounds. Uh, three six plus armor saves. Yes, three minus three AP. Mm. The Emperor protects. Mm. That made one. Well, that means I won't wipe them out. I've got D3 damage on the first attack, only one, so and then the second one will take him down. Kill an aggressor. And with that, we'll be on to Death Guard turn two. 
The first thing that happens in my turn is Lord Feltheus's Nurgle's Rot ability, which every unit, including himself, that's within one inch of an enemy unit, on a 4+, the enemy units take a mortal wound. So we'll start with Lieutenant Calcius on a 4+, he takes a mortal wound. So he's down to four wounds. And the two aggressors, they also take a wound. Yep, so they've taken a mortal wound as well. In the movement phase, the Terminator is going to move up slightly to get within two inches of the ammo box. Actually, he might as well move up his whole four inches, so he gets to about there. And he's going to shoot his combi bolter at the Hellblasters. So he gets four shots, hitting on threes, three rolling ones. Didn't need the ammo box. And wounding on fours. Nothing. No one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfectly average for eight dice, completely the wrong yeah. distribution. In the charge phase, the remaining Blight Lord Terminator is going to charge both Calcius and the Aggressors. So he needs to roll, they can't see him, and they might be melee anyway, and he needs to roll, well, an 11 will do. He's definitely in there. He's going to come and attack the Aggressors, I think, and bring himself round the back here. Now, the Aggressors have Veil of Time running, which means they get to count as if they've charged, so they get to fight in the Chargers part of the fight phase, but since it's my turn, I get to pick the Terminator, who is also charged, so he gets two attacks with his axe on the Aggressors, hitting on threes. One hit, but I get Death of the False Emperor with that six, uh, but it's still only one hit. hit. It wounds on a four because he's strength five. It does. Oh, and that's a minus three AP because I rolled a six yes, to wound so thanks to that six aura of rust. Nope. Nope. So, so the wounded aggressor goes down. But now the sergeant gets to fight because of Veil of yeah. Time. And he'll put his attacks on Feltheus because he's okay. safe from the other Terminator. Yep. So he's got three attacks hitting on fours. Come on, Sarge. Oh, yes. Done well. Three hits. Rolling on threes. Three rolling ones. Three rolling the one. No. Two wounds. Two four plus arm saves. Four plus invulnerable saves. D3 damage. D3 damage for one down. One, three. three. Disgustingly resilient. Made one. So Lord Feltheus takes two damage. He's down to four down wounds. To four, because he starts with six. Yeah. He gets to swing now, and he's going to hit Calcius, because Calcius hasn't attacked. Yep. Four attacks, hitting on twos. Still a one. Got a six though. Got a six though, so Death of the False Emperor. No, no yeah. one. It's done three hits, wounding on threes. threes. Rolling ones. Three wounds. Six plus arm saves. Come on, the Emperor protects. No. Mm. Well, I could roll three ones for the damage. Yeah. D three damage each. No. Chaos just gets yeah, his head chopped off. Down. So that's it for Death Guard turn two. Not too bad, but Space Marines still have plenty of men left. So, start on my movement phase, the Hellblossers have moved up on top of this box and they can see Lord Feltheus and they're still within two inches just of this set of crates, just by their base, and the Librarian has moved four inches along and two inches up, so you can also see Lord Feltheus and he's... And then the Hellblo the Aggressor Sergeant is actually going to fall back, so he'll go on the box as well. So onto the psychic phase, the Librarian is going to try and manifest Smite. It will be on Lord Feltheus because he's the closest enemy unit. Got it with an 8. D3 damage. 1. Ignoring on 5. Nope. Down to 3. And then he's going to... Uh, he'll do Might of Heroes on the Aggressor Sergeant. Okay. Got it with a 6. The shooting phase, the Hellblasters. I'm going to rapid fire at Lord Feltheus. Okay, you So they are within okay. an inch. You didn't set really this time. Yes, I have to remember because they're overcharging. Yeah. Do the wounded man first. Ooh. Oh, no, he does himself. Oh. And the other one gets two hits. So he's wounded on threes. One wound. Get my four plus invulnerable save. Made it. Ugh. The librarian will fire his bolt pistol at the Lord Feltheus. He missed. And the aggressor sergeant, being an ultramarine successor, gets to shoot and fall back. Yes, so he will fall back and shoot. fire at the terminator. Okay, to see. try and get rid of him. Yeah, good idea. Three hits. That's all falling apart now. Wound on fives. One, One wound. Two plus armor save. All he needs. Come on, run away. Oh no! Yes. And uh, five plus disgusting resilient. <laughs> yes. Oh, now he's gone down to flamers. <laughs> That <laughs> leaves just Lord Feltheus on the board. And another two victory points for me. So I'm on five. Yes, Space Marines are on five for First Blood, destroying two units entirely. And Death Guard are on two victory points for killing Lieutenant Calcius. Yep. Yeah. No one's going to charge. So that's it for Space Marines turn three. On to Death Guard turn three. Let's see if Lord Feltheus can extract himself from this predicament. The only thing to do with Lord Feltheus is move him up his 
four inches, he gets himself to about there, and he doesn't have a gun, so he's going to declare a charge on... It has to be both the Librarian and the Hellblaster, because I have to get within an inch of both in order to fight either of them. So the Hellblaster is going to overcharge... not overcharge, sorry, not overcharge. And she, with his Plasma Incinerator, he got a hit. Wound you on a three. He right. didn't wound. Librarian. Uh, over trip we watch with his pistol. No. Nope. Uh, charge distance. A five. five is probably not enough. He... Nope. A five is not enough to make that charge, which is unfortunate. So that means we're going to be going on to Space Marines turn four with Lord Felthius surrounded. Just uh, quick down the moon phase, the uh, aggressor sergeant's just going to move a little bit closer to Felthius. So straight to the psychic phase, the librarian's going to manifest smite or try to. Doesn't get it with a four. Ah. He'll try and do Might of Heroes on the Aggressor. Doesn't get it with a three. That's going to be ah. big. He's suddenly three. forgotten how to do his yeah. powers. So on to shooting. Start with the Hell Blaster. He's going to overcharge. So two shots. Hitting on threes, rolling ones. Two hits. Wounding on threes. One wound. Thought it was a normal save. Uh, no. no. So two disgusting resilient rolls. Oh no. He's down to one. So the Librarian will throw a crack grenade, because apparently his bolt pistol's loaded with blanks. So one shot hitting on a three, it hit. Wounding on a three, because it's strength six, against toughness five, it wounded. Minus one AP, so three plus save. That's a two. Oh no, this is, it might be it. One damage. I'll make a five or six. I have. Yeah. No, the crack grenade bounces off. And the Aggressor Sergeant's going to fire his flamers. Seven hits. Moody on fives. One. One wound. <laughs> Two plus armor save. Yeah. He made it. The aggressor it will declare a charge on Felthius. Yeah. He's in. So he'll come down like that. Your librarian will also declare a charge. Because this is this has got to be it now. So eight will easily get him in. They will get to strike before Felthius. He only will do one wound. So I'll do the aggressor sergeant. He has three attacks hitting on fours. Come on, no! No, that's not what you want. And the librarian has four attacks hitting on threes. That's better. Wound you on fives. One, One wound. wound. Four plus armor save. Or oh, invulnerable save. No. D3 damage, big roll. Three. Got to make all of these. No! Oh, I have! How have I done that? Oh! <laughs> So I get to strike back, and we're going to divide our attacks, I think. We're going to put one attack on the Aggressor Sergeant and three on the Librarian. No, we're going to do two on each. I don't know what we've done. There's two attacks on each character, on each guy. So we've got our two attacks on the Aggressor Sergeant hitting on twos. That's a one. That's, That's why you do more than one attack. Wounding on three. It does wound. Six, Six plus, plus. Save. No. D3 damage. Three. Yeah. So, so he gets down. down. That gets me a victory point. Not that victory points are going to matter very much at this point. And then we've got our two attacks on the librarian. They both hit. They wound on threes, re-rolling ones. That's two wounds. Two, two six. No. No. So he's got three wounds though. So if I... no. no, he's down as well. He gets to consolidate his three inches. And now he can charge. Uh, so as we go on to Death Guard turn four, he has to kill this Hellblaster. Movement phase. Very simple. He's going to come up, stand on the box, and he's going to charge. So you get to overwatch. Hitting on sixes. No. He's in. He gets four attacks, hitting on twos. Mm. Three wounds. And make three sixes. Or he goes down. Yeah. Yeah. So, somehow, a Death Guard victory, because once I got down to one model, one I could, couldn't roll anything lower than a four. So with that, we're going to recap this week's game, and give us you our thoughts on what's happened. Uh, well, that was the mission from issue 20 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. Um, I think it's fair to say you was robbed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I, I got down to Lord Felthius and then I didn't roll. I rolled very few dice that were less than a four, which yeah, was mostly uh, what I needed. Sometimes the dice is just, it's pretty frustrating when that happens, but it's just the way dice go, unfortunately. Yeah, and I mean, to be honest, in that game, I picked the wrong deployment zone. I deployed my units wrong, I moved wrong, and I paid for it at the beginning, and then I think, frankly, sheer dice took me through that, like I didn't really... I don't know, I don't think your deployment zone was particularly wrong, although... I think I should have picked the deployment zone that you had. In in hindsight, I gave you the better firing position, and I didn't give myself enough places to hide behind, given that you had the first turn. Mm. I think if I'd had the first turn, I would have been okay over yeah, here. I suppose you could have moved the plague marines up behind the boxes. 
Exactly. It, it would have made you, made you have a more... Um, if I'd been going first, yeah, this would have been the side for me. But I, I, I made us turn the board around and everything and regretted it Like within the first turn. I was like, no, this is a wrong deployment. Because the problem I had was that well, the Plague Marines mostly died. And then the Terminators, there was a certain distance they could move up before they suddenly became exposed to everything you could... Well, to be fair, I did roll an 11 for Smite. That almost killed them. That did help, actually. Go. Yeah, that almost took them all out. And yeah, the whole the beginning first half of the game was all going all your way. You took out almost all the Terminators, you took out almost all the Plague Marines. You charged in with the hell with the aggressors, and I thought that was the end. But then they whiffed, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah, they didn't roll very well. Yeah, they but, rolled pretty badly in melee, actually, in that game. Well, I mean, in, I feel the same way with my Power Fist and the Champion. Is mm. hitting on fours sometimes. He just does nothing turn on turn. Even then, even with the demise of the aggressors, who to be fair took quite a long time to go down. You still probably should have killed Lord Feltheus with smiting. You didn't get that smite off. There was that one turn where the librarian yeah. failed to roll for his smite well, he, and then failed, failed, to get, he, failed to get might of heroes. You charged in, you didn't do enough damage, and then I killed both of them in melee, having made three disgustingly resilient saves. So if you'd been saying what the chances of that beforehand, the chances would have been very little. Mm. But that turn of events did happen. Well, I don't know if I'd actually have really done anything differently. Keep no, well, I don't think you did anything <laughs> wrong, other than not roll dice well badly. enough. But... There's not much you can do about that. Yeah, and I think one downside for you as well is that you're given this unit that can teleport, but then they're not allowed to. So they're really slow. Oh, yeah, they're appallingly slow. I mean, on this board, it's not too bad, but if it's a bigger board, they're... Well, indeed. It'd basically be a non-issue for me. Yeah, well, we'll speak about a bigger board in a minute, because mm. that will uh, be important soon. But, yeah, I, I think overall... Well, it's a good demonstration of what Lord Feltheus can do if I roll well. Death Guard units in general are really hard to get rid of. And a Lord of Contagion is particularly it's a hard really to get rid of. Really powerful melee unit. Really powerful melee unit. I think that's probably all there is to say about the units. We've seen all of them in action before. So yeah, deployment, deploying terrain, something that doesn't come up that often. It depends what kind of game you're playing, really. If yeah, I think and in the fools, don't you just you just lay out terrain? I think you sort of agree on it, don't you? Yeah, there are no formal guidelines, yeah. really. I mean, I suppose you could say this is one method of laying out terrain, i.e. you roll off and then you place them alternately as a way of kind of getting a fair representation and then someone gets to pick deployment zones, picking where you think would be most advantageous to start. Really, on this board, it just ended up with it being far too cramped in the middle. Yeah, with Quite the, th the three-inch exclusion zone around the thing. Yeah. Especially since we're actually using all of the piles of crates. But that will be the end for this board. We'll be saying goodbye to it now. And we next issue, we'll be moving on to... Well, it's actually double the size of this one. So we'll have much more playing space in the next one as we descend to the planet of Corvon 2. Yes. The Rockbringer will detach from the Blade of Navaris and then we'll both yep. start our descent. After five months of ship-to-ship -ship fighting, we finally arrived where... Somehow we... there's still enough people left to uh, <laughs> descend to the planet. Yes. So heading down to the surface for a fight there with new terrain, a new board. Mentioned a few times in these recaps about how there's not much space on this board and how certain units suffer from it, and certain units benefit from it greatly. So we'll have a whole new set of tactics to think about when we get onto our larger board soon. Anyway, so that's something to look forward to in the next episode. But for now, we've been the Tabletop Donkeys, and we'll see you then. Yep, yeah, goodbye.